give the girls what the girls needed to see. My baby said, Ruby out the plastic. Ah! So much body. It's giving what it needs to give, I love honey. What's leaning? Mm-hmm. Sour cream, and now we're about to taste it. Mr. Real J Doll here on the Real J Doll's channel. Oh, it feels so good to say that. Like, it's been a long time since we've talked like one-on-one. -on -one. Not a travel vlog, not me and the girls going hygiene shopping, but just me and you. <laughs> it's Saturday and it is Juneteenth weekend and I thought I'd take you guys along with me throughout the weekend. It's gonna be a little extended weekend. So I thought it would be good for us to talk, you know, chitter chat. It's Saturday and me and my friends are gonna go to a Juneteenth festival. But before we go, baby, I'm hungry. So I am going to try and quickly make some chicken fajitas. And I got these actually from Sam's Club. I took my mom's Sam's card and stocked up on a couple things. So that's why you see it's like a double pack, because you know, Sam's Club always has bulk stuff. On the back, it said heating instructions from refrigerated. So I'm guessing you're supposed to keep this refrigerated, but it also says, once open, dang, I always can't find stuff when I feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> no, but um, I know it said on here something about like it's only good for a couple days after refrigeration. We could, we could worry about that later. But I am going to put the second one in the freezer because I don't know if I'll actually go through that many that fast so freezing one pack and then i'm gonna make fajitas just, just chicken and cheese and then i'll add like some peppers in there as well i y'all so you know like how you have peppers and they're hot and for those who know me know i do not like hot like food at all like at one point in time pepperoni was too spicy for me so that should go to show so uh, like small peppers here i'm about to show you actually I always thought these peppers were spicy, but I just found out that they're just mini bell peppers. So I got these, but I have a, actually a recipe that I'm going to make with this that I've seen on TikTok. I love making things off TikTok, but I already have bell peppers and onions already cut. So I'm about to heat up an eye, I'm about to make this little snack real quick, show you guys. And then we will be heading downtown. My hair's already done, half up, half down. And then my makeup's already done, nothing too crazy, you know, just enhancing the natural. So I just did my eyebrows, put some mascara on, and baby, this is skin. Okay. That's it. Your face so pretty to be, makeup can make it. Y'all still like Jacquees? Montage. Oh, that was fast. So, reusable strip. Just peel from edge and stick back on bag as indicated. But I see I have scissors. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to it. We are back. The heat is finished. And I just want to come on here and do a little taste test. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ain't even have to do too much. Mm. 
you know, since I got older, I really became a bell pepper kind of gal. Like, it's just something about it. So it's 7.19, and my friend Nina says she is already on the way. And I'm here eating fajitas. That's my problem, but I don't want y'all to sit here and watch me stuff my face. So I had this outfit on. Let me show you guys. What's up? And then I have on this black skirt, but I'm not really feeling the look. I don't know if I'm my boyfriend. And he was like, mm, mm, mm. And when a guy tells you, mm, mm, that means, mm, mm. <laughs> For real. So we gonna see what I go with. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday, the next day. The Juneteenth celebration. Like Last night, you guys didn't miss out on anything. We were supposed to go to dinner. And then we were supposed to go to a Juneteenth celebration, then dinner. Y'all. Tell me why, like, the Juneteenth, first of all, we didn't even get out to the celebration until, like, basically 10 o'clock, and it was over at 11. And at that point, like, honey, going out to dinner after that, mm-mm, wasn't happening. The Juneteenth celebration was like a block party outside, so they had a DJ downtown in front of the Freedom Center, and then, like, some of my friends, like, the gang that y'all usually see, um, they were there and we were pretty much just like hanging out, talking, vibing to the music because they played like old school, new school, like they played it all. That was pretty much that came back because my eyes were itching like the allergies y'all, the allergies get me every time and they hit hard. Okay, look at that. But now it is Sunday, it's Father's Day. I am getting ready for church right now. Gonna go there with my family. Maybe I'll clean or binge watch Manifest some more because I've been binge watching that a lot. I'm on season four finally. Like, I'm so late. I was on top of it when it first came out, but like, I don't even know when these last two seasons came out, but I just finished season three and now I'm on season four. And y'all, Manifest, <laughs> if you haven't watched it, it is something to watch. And then tomorrow, y'all, I was supposed to get my hair done. And then my hair just hit me with the hey, boo. You know, like when you, when your appointment's coming up and the joking, the going joke is when your hairdresser hits you up with the hey boo, you know you're finna get rescheduled. Got rescheduled. But she said that she can do anytime Tuesday after one, but I actually have to work on Tuesday. We get Monday off for Juneteenth, so tomorrow. And then Tuesday, she said after one, so I'll have to see like how my work is and if I can get off closer or like how willing because she was like I'm willing to work with you I'm so sorry like I mean girl she got a life so and she has children so I get it so I am not mad at it at all and I will put that actually in this vlog too like I know you guys probably seen it in the thumbnail my hair like good I'm down here hair and makeup clearly as you guys can see and getting myself together before I go hey Siri what time is it Girl be in my conversation every other time, but when I want to talk to her, then she don't have nothing to say. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So uh it is currently 9.06. And I have to leave at 9.30, so I have plenty of time to get my little stuff together. So let's do that and then let us head on with our day. You see how I just made that itch? Gotta make a way. She on she, my ponytail has no chill. Like she loves to be stiff, and 
She loves to not move when she gets upset, so. Maybe we'll leave her alone today. Mm-hmm. She looks a little crooked from this side, but I feel like that helps it make all the more neat. <laughs> what? Unique or a mess? Anyways. Makeup. I like to brush my eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Fill them in. Mm-mm. Literally, that's all I do. I'll do what I just did to my brows. I'll put mascara on, and then I'll use this black pencil to go here. So I'll just come here, and then just draw a little line with my waterline. And that helps like bring out my eyes. Oh no, I messed up going too fast. Look at that. You can see literally. Ooh. Crazy. Crazy. <clears throat> Actually. But let me tell y'all something. I do not think I am for getting makeup wipes. TJ Maxx anymore because I got this three pack thinking like oh okay it's gonna be cool like it's gonna be all right this makeup wipe I know they're not supposed to be the thickest but look how thin this looks like a wet dryer sheet no sir or maybe I just got like a bad batch of makeup wipes but this this is unacceptable I must definitely not today not today okay I think we're good. So that is that. Uh -oh. Yes, that is that. Uh -oh. fighting all day i've been fighting sleep all day literally and that's what i get too for staying up late last night watching manifest y'all like that show has me in the choco and i needed to release me went to church was fighting sleep in church you know how you be the how your head get to doing that thing i stayed up so i didn't go to sleep mm -hmm. after church we went to my parents house and i was laying down there i laid down on the floor like right when you walk in the door in the little landing area lay down right there was tired uh still finished watching my show that's how i know priorities like where are they so um we went to bj's and got some food i got these sliders so good i got the barbecue sliders rib tip or brisket they were some kind of sliders and they were appetizers and i got sweet potato fries because sweet potato fries are my favorite fries you know but got that and then it filled me up for sure but i mean it's hours later now so i have to eat because if if i don't cook how am i gonna eat that's the thing about adulting they don't tell you if you don't cook you don't eat like So, um, yeah, we went to go visit my papa, then we went to go to my grandma's house, and then um, my dad got Cheesecake Factory, we went, went to the mall, and then we went and got Dairy Queen. I didn't get any. My mom, my mom, my brother got their blizzards, and then 
went to this store called micro center it's like a technology it's almost like a best buy but they have like more deals and stuff there so isaiah went in and got his computer for school and then y'all i stayed in the car for maybe like 30 minutes just in there sweating because i was just too tired to get out and i was in there half sleep in the car you know how you're like awake and you're not awake i was doing that so then we finally got to my parents house grabbed my stuff y'all and then now i made it back here so i laid down on the couch just for a little bit so i could really gather myself together before i came on camera so we have a couple things to do before it's time to go to bed so one i went to kroger's today I got my favorite favorite snack i got some cookies and milk i'm about to put them in my cookie jar so this is like a quick little task i'm gonna do and i feel like my cookies taste better when i eat them out the cookie jar like if i eat them out the little box they're all right but like out the cookie jar they taste so much better so. but i'm putting them in the cookie jar now and then and then after i do this got chicken wings from sam's and they're in the refrigerator but they need to be frozen until i cook them so they're in the refrigerator right now because i wanted to try and season them before i freeze them so that way they can be getting you know all flavorful juicy and stuff Cookies in the cookie jar. Nah. I want to write do not touch on them, but the people that come over here know, like, do not touch my cookies. Like, I do not play about my Golden Double stuff Oreos. That is literally my favorite, favorite, favorite snack in the whole wide world. For you to eat some and not ask me or tell me, blasphemy. Now let's season the chicken. Okay, I've been trying to figure out what's the best view for you guys to see what I'm doing and get me in it too. Whenever I record my TikToks and like my cooking videos, my camera is usually right here because I don't have an island. If I had an island, I feel like you guys would have the views, but this is what we have for now. We'll see what it's talking about when I edit. And then if it's not, then we'll change it the next time. But this is what we got. So. Uh, I do not like touching stuff, y'all. Like, I love to cook, but meat, raw meat, do not touch it. We got the chicken out. We're gonna make our mix. Let's let's come up. We're gonna do paprika, and it's a smoked paprika. I know it just says paprika, but it's actually smoked paprika. I feel like paprika, like regular paprika, is just for decoration, but smoked paprika has really elevated my experience, and I'll never go back to regular paprika. We're gonna do garlic salt. Mm -hmm. That was a lot. I don't know if y'all can see the fumes coming up on the camera, but baby, in real life, they are there. So we did garlic salt and then onion powder. Let's do some Italian because I love Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning is one of my favorites now. I don't know what part of Italy this sauce comes from, but they do. The Italian seasoning, it's garlic salt, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and paprika are like the basics. So then I usually like to go in with some kind of like seasoning salt. Um, and then I like to add something that has like a little bit of spice. So right now I am actually out of Lowry's, which is crazy. So we're gonna do this Creole. This Creole seasoning is like a Cajun seasoning. This is the Montreal chicken seasoning from McCormick. That is that. That's pretty much like our little seasoning mix for these wings. Actually, we're gonna hit it with a little sloppy mama. a little bit and then that's the mix all right now we are at the sink it is time to wash our chicken i know people wash chicken different ways and even i wash my chicken different ways um running under cool water like water vinegar mix or like whatever but there are multiple ways to wash your chicken just make sure you wash the chicken are those feathers still on the chicken i don't know i need to put my other gloves on Next step is to take some olive oil. And then I'm just gonna pour it on there. Mix it up. And it should be a paste with like a runnier consistency. So you know how this kind of looks like dry? Like it should be like almost liquid. 
Let's add some more olive oil in there. Yes. A nice consistency. You see how it's like runny? That's exactly how we need it. I'm just gonna put the chicken in a bowl like this. And I'm just gonna pour it on there. Like so. And then I'm gonna cover the wings with the sauce. But this is how your wings should look. Nice, colorful, seasoned. You can see like the specks, like all that. So this is how I'm gonna season these wings and make sure they're all covered up. Like don't be stingy with it at all. This is your time to really get in there and show them who's boss. Why not? Why not? Let's cut the skin. Uh uh. Oh, this is hard. Oh, okay. I think we've made an incision. We have. See, look at that. If I wouldn't have cut it, all that just would have been like pink. So let's get it on there. Okay. We've got some good seasoned chicken. I'm just gonna take that. Guys, hey guys, happy Juneteenth. It's the next day. It is like 1 1 45, and I have been cleaning my house all morning, getting stuff done, been being productive. So, I'm about to hang this picture in my bathroom. So cute, so simple. So, I think this is like really me. So, probably, probably drew me. You know, I was thinking about me when they did this because. Look at the jawline, like not sharp, like, you know, kind of curved. Little ear action round. The nose. So, you know. If you haven't seen like any of my moving vlogs, the thing for my bathroom was supposed to be like black with a little bit of wood. And then of course like white because that's the color of my bathroom. Um, so this goes perfect. And I had it hanging literally right here, y'all. But I had it hanging with command strips. And over time, like my walls were sweating and I've never experienced anything that drastic. So maybe I need to look more into it. Like at home, our walls never sweated like that. And look at this, what I woke up to, a friend. So I had like pimple cream all on her this morning. So that's why I didn't really want to get on camera this morning, but I know we still got stuff to do. I, still I got my tool kit in this pink, black and pink case. And then I think I just need a hammer for this. So I got my hammer and I have my nail. It's like, it has a little point to it. And I'm not even about to measure. I'm just about to make it do what it do with my eye. Okay, I think right here is good. This looks like it's the middle. And my dad told me to do it at an angle. super bad like that was the worst okay so I'm just gonna oh, oh. I'm just gonna try and Y'all, when it fell off, I was in the shower. That was scary. Like, not today, Lord, not today. So, okay, period. Look at me. <laughs> I always get happy when I do stuff because like, girl, you really out here doing the big one, never the little one. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back. <sighs> I was about to make the recipe. Went in the freezer to get the meat out to unthaw it and it was no eating there. So I had to run to Kroger's real quick and get a couple things. I also got this queso sauce that I'm gonna put on there. 
It's gonna bust. Already know. So let's get to it. I have my ground turkey in this pan, and I already have seasoned it with my seasonings of choice. So I used garlic salt, onion powder, Lowry's, and I used smoked paprika. Now I'm actually gonna take my taco seasoning. I'm gonna add it to here. I also am making a TikTok, so this may be a little ghetto. This is how it is behind the scenes with me making these videos, y'all. But I'm only gonna use half a pack. I hope my buns look cute from the back because it look a little stingy from the side in the microwave I see. So, oh no, let's look it back there, y'all. Without doing too much, it's not doing too much. I get my hair done tomorrow. Woo, I'm excited. I get my hair done tomorrow. I can stop looking like a little boy, somebody's younger cousin. Now I'm gonna come in with some black beans. I'm only gonna use like half a can of black beans because I'm really not a bean kind of gal anyways. Boosh's best seasoned black beans and add that to there. So yes, this is literally like just enough amount of beans for me. Just enough. On to the bell peppers. All I'm going to do is cut off the top and then I'm going to cut them in half, just like that. I am going to like widen them a little bit just with my hands. That way it'll be easier to actually stuff them. So let me do that for all of them. So right now I am stuffing these bell peppers. Here's like a stuffed pepper. So it's really not a lot of meat that goes in here. So you have to like cut up a good amount of bell peppers, especially like if you're trying to feed a party and the stuffing takes time. So this is definitely not a quick meal to make at all. Take your time, be patient, it's okay. But I'm putting them kind of close together because next I'm going to like drizzle the cheese on top and the sour cream stuff. Like the bell peppers are stuffed. We used a little over half the bag. And then I still do have like a little bit more mix as well. I don't think a pan full of these are gonna be eaten tonight. But next, I am going to take some cilantro and onion that I've cut up already into the side. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. Sprinkle it on top. Maybe I need to cut up some more because <laughs> Oh, that was not a good sprinkle. Like, I need it on everything. You know? Oh, we got a little color going. Okay, so that's done. And it's looking good. It's looking nice and colorful. Next team, we are going to be adding cheese. I have a Fiesta blend. Don't worry, it's in there. Try not to get it on the pan too much because it's just going to burn on the pan. I'm going to add a little bit of mozzarella for the pull effect. See, that's why it's good to tune in to the YouTube so y'all can get the real wall and uncut. Okay. And then now that that's done, we're just gonna go ahead and put it in the oven and pull it out in 15 minutes. Okay guys, this is the final result. I put some queso cheese on there inside cream and now we're about to taste it. All right, here we go. Time to try it. I gotta get a nice and juicy one. Hmm. Hmm. It's slapping. It needs something though. I think it needs taco sauce. Like the red one. Mm-hmm. That's what it needed. I like it. I give it a I give it an 8.9 out of 10. I can't give it a nine, but it's definitely up there. Hey! It's the next day and I am on my way to get my hair done. Child, I got the camera zoomed in so you can just focus on the face because right now the hair it's not giving. I'm supposed to get there at exactly 301 and I told her I would be there at three. 
how ghetto is it to come up with your own appointment time and then be late it's a minute late so it's really not crazy but like imagine if i was 15 minutes late mm. so yeah y'all otw we're about to get fine down honey and i told myself i was going to keep my hair together this year so this is helping like that was one of my goals to keep my hair done constantly and i just had like the little braid style for when i went to houston and then i wanted to give my hair like a braid install bust down in the summer <laughs> i really don't do sew-ins quick weaves for instance i usually don't do that during the summer because it's hot you know i want to get in the pool get a little wet but since the opportunity presented itself why not and i have to stop being scared i feel like sometimes i get scared when it comes to doing styles in the summer because i feel like i'm gonna mess it up or like oh i know it's gonna be hot outside i don't want my hair to sweat out but sometimes that's what comes with it so i had to stop being scary and give the girls what the girls needed to see my baby said ruby out the plastic ah! y'all i tried to be cute before i left out and put lashes on and it did not go like all the lash glue was in my eye and i started using hair glue instead of like the clear lash glue like i used to it was black all in my eye thank goodness for contacts because then the glue doesn't get on my eye eye but y'all that was a dangerous that was the dangerous little game we played this morning but enough of me rambling i will meet you guys at the hair salon you got to be fighting I down know baby I you guys seen the footage but i'll have my hairstylist information down in the description box below but after i got done had to pick up some celebratory potle got my potle and then before i left out the house <laughs> i got these i ordered them the other day <laughs> i ordered them the other day and now they're here so yeah i just had to come in and wrap up the vlog but thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next video